Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Smackdown Live from NSW. My name Dave Easton alongside Tim Price. The fallout from Money in the Bank when we have a new Smackdown World Champ. Oh, talking about him. Yeah, talking about the World Champion. Here he is. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way down to ringside, he is the new Smackdown World Champion, Dean Ambrose. Yeah, here he is, the new Smackdown World Champion. Let's see what well, he has to Well, I wonder see. what he's thinking now. He's, yeah, he's got Bobby Hall in the back of his mind. And of course, they're going to team up tonight against the Wyatt family in our main event. Yeah, so Dean's got to be very wary of what Bobby Hall might do once the match is over. Well, look who won the Smackdown title on Money in the Bank. Yes, you guessed it, I did. And I beat AJ Styles again. And took the title off him. And well, I think you can call me the face that runs the... Nah, I don't need the kind of catchphrase to know I am the best on Smackdown Live. Because I have the title. And I know that will put a target on my back. But I look forward to anyone trying to take this title off me. Oh, and Bobby Hall, I know you have that lovely money in the bank briefcase. And I know... We are teaming up tonight in the main event, but I will be watching you. And if you think you can sneak up on me, you've got uh, you've got anything coming, and I will lay you out. You got anything coming? Hmm. Very strange. Wow, it's very strong words. Words there from Tina Ambrose, though. Not friend at all with his new tiger on his back. I think uh, Dean Ambrose doesn't care who he's going to go up against. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have got a non-title action. Coming up for you first here on SmackDown Live, making his way to the ring, he is Tristan Knight. Yeah, big non-title action here tonight, but well, a great opportunity for Tristan Knight to, you know, get a win over the champion in non-title action, though. Yeah, Tristan Knight, who as well, he defeated Jay Money at Money in the Bank on the kickoff show to, to end the undefeated streak is... I'm sh actually, a lot of people on Twitter are actually glad that's over and done with, I think. Yeah. You know, the Twitter tirade's kind of a... Shut up a little bit after that. He's not so unconfident anymore, is Jay Money, after that loss. The twist of night tonight will move on. Of course, going up against Shinsuke Nakamura, the Intercontinental Champion. And remember, of course, Nakamura has been out. He couldn't defend his title at Money in the Bank due to a niggling uh, ankle injury. He is back here tonight. And is that going to be playing on his mind here, Tim, in our opening contest? Yeah, that very well, mate. I mean, you know, with Tristan Knight, so like he may, you know, target that area to try and re injure it. Well, that's got to be in the back of Shinsuke's mind. Mr. Knight, though, as always, full of confidence, especially, as we're saying, after that big win at Money in the Bank. Yeah, great win at Money in the Bank. Ended well. It's some ways a streak. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, he is the current Intercontinental Champion, Shinsuke Nakamura. Here is the current Intercontinental Champion, as you put it, I haven't seen him in a little bit due to the injury. You've got to wonder, any kind of ring rust on Nakamura here tonight, well, he's got to want to shake that off and show that he is just as good right now as he was before the injury. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, we tell you to get the bets in, of course, you have only got this show in tomorrow on Nitro to get as many points as you can to win the top prize, of course. And, well, Shinsuke Nakamura has made the Intercontinental Championship feel like the top prize after their legendary battles in the opening weeks with Kevin Owens. Yeah, it was legendary battles. Some of the best we have, well, paired witness to in NSW. And, Tim, you've got to say, this guy is so popular with the crowd. And you're going to be thinking... This could play into this match. 
Tristan Knight could get distracted. Yeah, very well could, you know. Shinsuke, he just oozes charisma. And the fans really just get behind Shinsuke Nakamura. That is why he's such a well, well liked member of NSW, why he's Intercontinental Champion. Shinsuke Nakamura, of course. That match with Kevin Owens. My goodness me, one of the highlights so far of this very early season five. As we get ready to go here. Non title action. Shinsuke, as you can see, just, just bending on that foot a bit just to make sure everything is okay. Rooney Win, your referee is always. Uh, Tim, who do you think is going to walk away with a big win here tonight? No, it's very difficult, but I think I may give the slight edge to Shinsuke Nakamura for this one. You're being its continental champion and coming back after the injury. He's got to want to show that he has not lost anything. And, you know, Tristo still might be hurting a little bit from money in the bank. Well, of course, the confident riding high in, you would say, in Tristan Knight. And, of course, Tristan Knight has been on the edge of getting really a title shot here. Um, and if he can defeat Nakamura, you've got to be thinking he has got to be looking at a title shot with SummerSlam only a couple of weeks away. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, if he does beat Nakamura here tonight, I think he definitely would have earned an opportunity at the Intercontinental Championship. Look at this. Tristan Knight just using the knee right to the back of the head. And he's saying, ladies and gentlemen, so much to come tonight. Of course, the new SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch is in action. We've got a rematch from Sunday Night at Money in the Bank as American Alpha defend the tag team titles against the former champs, The Force. A huge match. Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins coming up. And of course, that main event. My goodness me. Bobby Hall, Mr. Money in the Bank, teaming up with the SmackDown champion, Dean Ambrose, to take on Bray Wyatt and Eric Rowan here tonight. Yeah, what a main event. We have it tonight. It, well, technically, it may not even be, you know, the last match. It's not as Bobby Hall, he could cash in for, we know. That is true. Bobby Hall, of course, can cash in at any time he would like on the SmackDown champion. Of course, Dean Ambrose, who won the title of AJ Styles on Sunday night. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any uh, comments, come and tell us what you think. Is Oh, Deep Knight! Deep Knight. Shinsuke has not got really any offense in, but he manages to kick out. Kick out of two and that. Tristan Knight has been dominating this. And that's the thing, that's the kind of form that Tristan Knight has been on. And that is, he has he has literally been at the top of his game for the last couple of weeks here. Yeah, he certainly has. We're sitting right here as Shinsuke is in so much trouble. And finally, Shinsuke Nakamura has managed to make some form of offense. Oh my goodness, planting Tristan Knight. And that's no easy thing to do. No, it is certainly is not an easy thing to do. And well, now she's just using a striking game. Question from uh, our chat. Will J Money uh, try to get revenge on um, Tristan? I don't think so. And coming up next, of course, Samoa Joe takes on the Miracle Man. And you've got to be thinking that. I'm sure J Money will be having his thoughts on getting a win here tonight. As Tristan Knight is calling for the end here. Oh, my goodness. End of... And that is it! Wow! Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, he is Tristan Knight! Well, ladies and gentlemen, a huge win here for Tristan Knight and well Shinsuke Nakamura will not know what hit him that is a huge win and you've got to be seeing this this um, this run of Tristan Knight continues Money. ladies and gentlemen if you missed it on Sunday night you can now view Money in the Bank on the NSW network Please do 
uh, visit, if you haven't seen it, it's a hell of a tape of you. You do not want to miss it. It is amazing. Money in the bank. What a night it was. Please do go and see it on the network now. And, well, we are ho hoping to uh, get on to our next contest here. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, he is the destroyer, Samoa Joe. And yeah, here is the destroyer, Samoa Joe. Well, I just, well, as I said, you know, he's a master at destroying people, which is why he has earned that nickname. And could he be able to be destroying his opponent here tonight? Uh, Jay Money is his opponent, of course, but Samoa Joe has not had the best of starts in Season 5. He's been up there a lot, like a lot of superstars. He's just not been able to get to that next level. You could think beaten, oh, and already maybe um, run down Jay Money could put him up even further here tonight. Yeah, possibly. I mean, Jay Money was on quite the roll until Tristan I came along and ruined that. And worse than much, he could, you know, take advantage of that and get a win here tonight and, well, get back in the win of ways. And Samajo could start climbing up the ranks again. Oh, well, yeah. And, well, here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Being coming to the ring by Queenie. He is GA the Miracle Money. Here he is, Jay Money, who as well, he's not been happy about that loss. Money in the bank, he will be sad about it. He's claiming it was nothing but sheer luck that Tristan Knight got the win and said it was a miracle for him. Well, he, he does like to do the miracles, I guess. So, uh, maybe he granted Tristan Knight one. At his expense, of course. No, I don't see it. Yeah, he's expensive. I don't see Tristan Knight being as bad as a miracle. I see it as Tristan Knight just being... The better competitor. Well, can he get his way back into the win column? It's J Money versus Samoa Joe next. Fans here on SmackDown Live are in for a treat in this one. Here we go. Samoa Joe, J Money. Tim, tell me, what are your. What do you think is uh, going to go through Jay Money's mind here to get this job done? No, he's got to put what happened at Money in a bag Anyone? behind him, you know, that loss. Even someone who can do a miracle can do a Russian leg sweep. Yeah, he's got to put that loss behind him and just focus on this matchup. And that's, well, it looks like that's what he's doing. Exactly right now, he's focusing in on Samoa Joe. And you've got to be thinking that... Uh, Jay Money thought he was going to be going for the SmackDown title only to find himself defeated on the kickoff show by Tristan Knight. And really, many people have said this is the Miracle Man trying to work his way back up. He'd start right at the bottom again. Yeah, he was really building himself up, and then Tristan Knight seemed to ruin that. And Samoa Joe here to can make it even worse for than the Miracle Man. Oh even my <laughs> God, Samoa Joe's. Oh. Suplex! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, goodness, look at this big hard shot by Samoa Joe. Another shot to go back by Jim and he's giving as good as he gets, and there's the takedown. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, there is a 10 count to play with here. I think the rest up to 7, you know. Yeah, up to 7. This much can end in a count hour here. 8. Oh, I thought for a minute there we were going to see a Seth Rollins. Yeah, imagine that. Jay Money would be absolutely ballistic if that happened. Lovely dropkick connects, and Queen Eve was very happy about that one. Oh, he's going to the top. Is he going to go for that miracle stomp? And what is he thinking? No, no, he's. What is he doing? He's telling some more Joe to get up here. Look out! Oh my goodness! A pearly oh. kick almost off the top! Yeah, almost, but I don't have Jay Money caught, you know, the full impact of that there. Oh, Armageddon! Uh -oh. 
the arm again. Yeah, there it is, locked in. And Rooney really Wayne totally in the hard cams ways so we can't see. Well, you can't see at home, obviously. We can see because we're at the ringside. And there's uh, some more Joe now. Oh, now some more Joe into the, the arm bar. Yeah, got the future arm bar. Long tip of Jim on it. Imagine to power out of that. Oh, super kick. Oh, big super kick there. And Samoa Joe is in a world of trouble. Into the cover. Who got the leg? Has he got Samoa Joe? No, two count only. Just a two count there, but Jay Money looking very impressive right now. This just shots down right across the forehead. And now Jay Money looking to maybe end this once and for all. Oh, he's got him up! Oh, the miracle driver! Oh, he hits it with perfection there. And into the cover here, hook of the leg. And he got him! Wow, ladies well, and gentlemen. Well, what a victory for Jay Money. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, the Miracle Jay Money! Yeah, that's a tad of victory for Jay Money here tonight, back into the winning ways. Well, the Miracle is back up and running tonight here on SmackDown Live. And well, I think that was very, very much needed from J Money. Oh, backstage now. Let's see what this is all about. Tristan, thanks for dropping by. After your win tonight against Shinsuke Nakamura, you will be pleased to hear at SummerSlam you will get a shot at the title. Ooh. Well, Tristan, I pay reward for his impressive victories of recent. Well, I wouldn't expect nothing less after I showed the world how easy it was to beat him and that was me at not half speed. Ha! SummerSlam should be easy. I think you know as well as anyone that he was not 100% fit tonight. By taking, but taking nothing away from you, you beat him and now the countdown is to SummerSlam is on. Well, could Tristan Knight become Intercontinental Champion? Well... Daniel, I don't care if he was 100% or not, because come SummerSlam, that title is mine, and he will need to get an army to stop me squashing him out of NSW. John, you would expect anything from less from Tristan tonight. Just, just strong words there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for a Money in the Bank rematch, and it is for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Introducing first the challengers, being accompanied by Mikey and Dom Cornette. They are the team of Kaplan Laws and Dan Masters, the Force. Yeah, the Force have not been happy about losing the tag team championships at Money in the Bank. I mean, you saw later in the show how they reacted to that. Well, how ready to, well, try to desperately regain the SmackDown Tag Team titles. And also, you've got to be thinking, Chad, you're right, Chad Gable cannot be 100% after that vicious attack backstage. I don't think any of these men in this match are going to be 100%. I mean, they went to an absolute war with each other over the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Very true. Very true indeed. Look at him just waiting, waiting on American Alpha. And ladies and gentlemen, their opponent being coming to the ring by Charlotte Omega. They are the current SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Chad Gable and Jason Jordan, American Alpha. Well, ladies and gentlemen, American Alpha making their way down to ringside. And, uh, well, you've got to be thinking this could be very interesting indeed. Just two nights, of course, from the winning the tag belts. They've got to put them back on the line. The rematch uh, clause was invoked. And, uh, well, it goes ahead here on SmackDown Live. 
50-50 in the voting so far. If you haven't voted already, please do so. If you are on our, uh, if you're watching on live on Twitch, of course. So here we go, American Alpha versus the Force. Who will come out on top? It's tag team title match time. A rematch, of course, with Money in the Bank, as Tim was in. A legendary match. Um, both teams went to war. And there is the SmackDown tag team titles. So here we go. Rooney Wayne takes the titles. Will that be the, the shortest reign possible for American Alpha? Like, will it be the shortest frame? Well, we're going to find out. I mean, the money in the back, it was the hard determination to call American Alpha to the tag team titles. Can I use that again to retain them? Yeah, remember, ladies and gentlemen, your bets are running out. You've got not many uh, time to go. You've got to get the bets in while you can. As Dan Master starting things off here with Chad Gable. Look at that, just the viciousness. And this is the thing. You've got to think that they'll be attacking Chad Gable here because his ribs can, as I say, can't be nowhere near 100%. Yeah, but they cannot be. That's what the Force are going to do, which is a bit surprising what Chad, Chad Gable, you know, would start the match. Oh, uh oh Big oh. boy! Oh, big boy! And that's just going to hurt the ribs even more. That is a big boy! Oh, my goodness. I'm happy just already. Look at the way... Yeah, but look at the way Tam was just stomping away at Chad Gable. Yeah, you've got to be thinking, is it right that Gable even started this match? Surely you would have put Jason Jordan in here. But uh, maybe Chad Gable has just really got um, too much guts for brains. Is that even a saying? I don't know. Sounds <laughs> right in my head. Well, I think he's putting his brawn be before his brains there. Thank you. Braun Strowman, he's on Raw, isn't he? Try to sh I hear he's not finished with someone yet. Uh, oh no, don't say that for goodness sake. As a, oh no, this cannot be good. Oh, oh my no, goodness. no, no. Back suplex of the super kind! Jesus! Oh my god, and Chad That's it. is in a world of trouble. That's it? Yeah, he's out? He, he must. Two! Oh, and Gable kicks out at two! Yeah, he kicks out. I don't know how, but as I said, you know, with American Alpha, it's all the hard determination that has gone this far, but I don't think it's going to be enough tonight. The condition of American Alpha, they have got to be badly hurt. I don't even think Chad Gable has really got any kind of shot in here. And the, really, Chad Gable... No, he hasn't at all. Chad Gable is really just there for the pickings here. And if, if the Force play this right, it's really just a matter of time. Oh, no. Back elbow. Inseguri. Oh, my goodness. Chad Gable. What? He looks, it looks like he's, he's not even in the same room. No, it doesn't. He's been utterly destroyed here. And he still he kicks, kicks out, out again. Yeah. Tell me, if this guy has got so much determination, so much heart. But at the same time... He could be doing real damage to himself here. Yeah, there was. I think the Force have picked their rewatch time absolutely perfectly. Because they are just dominating. Oh, not again. Oh, no. Look oh, out. No. It's the Force Buster. And that, that's it. That's it's it. Over. That is the shortest tag team reign. We have ever seen. Good night, American Alpha. And Jason Jordan breaks it up. Oh, he gets there just in time. If it weren't for him, it's, oh, oh, no, no, Big no. boy! Oh, geez, here's a second one. And the ribs of Chad Gable could be broken. And now, look at this. Captain Lars comes in, picks the pieces. And ladies and gentlemen, and Jason Jordan breaks it up again. Yeah, Chad Gable needs to get some form of offense and to get Tracer Jordan into his matchup. I don't know if he can. I don't know if he's got actually anything left in him. 
Oh, this, as, well, I agree with what the chat are saying. Uh, this has been an absolute clinic, but look at G Chad Gable here. Oh my God, what the? Yeah, now this is a chance. Yeah, Kid tries to turn into this matchup. But, oh, he, he was too dazed. Oh, swinging neck break and a beauty. And this really could be the beginning of the end. Look at this, Kaplan Laws just taking Chad Gable over to his corner. There's the tag. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, this Big is very bad. Back up in, right onto oh. the back as well. Is that enough for the new? No, wait. Did, did Damas is not? Did, he should have pinned him. I think I think Kapalaz is telling him to do more damage, just destroy this guy. My goodness. Put him out, you know, put him on the injury shelf so American Alpha won't get a rematch. This is absolutely crazy here. Like, Chad Gable, ladies and gentlemen, has not tagged out since the beginning of this match. And really, it is all up for the force to win this. Oh, Sparkly Witch! Oh, God, a devastating Sparkly Witch. And... Oh, my. This is, this is all over. Oh, no. Oh, the Chimera suplexes. The third. How about a... Jack, that is it! All over! One, two, three, and we have a new tag team champions! Yeah, you saw Charlotte make a desperate try to get the ref out of time, but she just couldn't. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of this contest are new SmackDown tag team champions, Kaplan Laws, Dan Masters. The Force! Well, I think we need to get medical attention for Chad Gable. Jason Jordan never contacted the match. When Chad Gable got destroyed. He could be seriously injured. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've got to think it. The for Tim said it best. The Force did exactly what they did. They, knew they had a game plan and they've done it to perfection. They are two times SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Well, ladies and gentlemen, remember, NSW comes your way five times a week. Raw on a Monday, SmackDown, you're watching it now on a Tuesday. Nitro on a Wednesday. High Impact, the Cruiserweights on a Thursday. And Main Event on Saturday night. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, it is Nonstop Wrestling UK for the NSW Network. And if you're on Twitter, it's NSW underscore Fed. And if you're not watching this, this live, it's live on Twitch. It's NSS underscore one. I got that all in time. Very nice. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have got some non-title action coming up in the women's division. Main our way to the ring first from Norwich, England. She is Paige. Well, yeah, more non-title action here. Well, just what I said about, you know, Tristan Knight, the IC title. And look at the victory he got. Well, this could be a huge opportunity for Paige here tonight in non-title action. And Paige, of course. Well, she's looking like she's uh, she's definitely uh, high here tonight. Definitely have to agree with that one. Oh, guess what? Now, what's that? It's apparently her house. Um, alright. Do we mark I don't that see a bedroom the... anywhere or a kitchen. Do we mark this on the... On the There's on a the... kitchen. How many houses does she own? A lot apparently, but... Where's the bedroom? Where's the kitchen? Ladies and gentlemen, her opponent, she is the new SmackDown Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. Yeah, look at this. The new SmackDown Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. And well... Who would have thought, you know, about her Peter Kelly Nance? We thought Kelly Nance was on an unstoppable, you know, path of dominance. Becky Lynch came along as well, an unexpected challenger. And well, she's the new champion. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, SmackDown Live in two weeks' time will be live.
from Ireland and at the home place of Becky Lynch and you've got to be thinking that the fans will love to see Becky as Smackdown Women's Champion two weeks time the European tour of NSW and well we're proud to say that Ireland will have the Smackdown live show keep uh, a look on Twitter for all dates and uh, destinations Here we go then, off and underway, this one, women's uh, division action of course ladies and gentlemen, we have, you've only got three matches left tonight to bet your bets in, so make sure you have done that already. Paige may be taking a uh, page out of the forces book here, pardon the pun. Yeah, just keep on your offense, don't let up for a second and just beat Tani and Pony. I mean, Paige is going to be the fresh through this matchup because Becky Lynch, you know, she went through one hell of a battle uh, that body in the bag. Who likes a line or two can do a Russian leg sweep. Big shot by Big Pidge. Definitely looks like she's uh, definitely enhanced her performance here tonight. Yeah, it definitely looks like that. And uh, there goes the, the, the ter top turnbuckle here. Becky Lynch, of course, after that yeah, wall. Yeah, it seems Paige is... Go on, Tim. You were going to see it. Go on. Oh, you, I was going to say, it seems Paige is bringing out a more aggressive side of her. And look at this, just a big boot into the side of the jaw. Of course, it's England versus Ireland here, of course, as well. And that's n never going to be uh, stop these two girls from uh, making it more of a hard-hitting encounter. Is Paige looking to end this here? But just a one. And Tim, you've got to be thinking, you were, you're right, you're right, you, you, you were talking about the Tristan Knight situation in this one. If Paige can beat Becky Lynch here, she's got a legitimate shot to get a title. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, beating the champion, even, you know, when it's a normal title action, is huge because you basically can't say, look, I should get a shot, I've beaten the champion. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, we ask you that you, after Smackdown Live, you stay tuned to NSS underscore one for the crime drama. Of course, it's NS N C S San uh, San San Tantos San San Tantos. Yes. Well, Santos. No, no, San Tantos. I don't know. It's a new series. San Tantos. San Tantos. Yes. Sounds like a made-up place. It's, oh, it, 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 it's, 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 it's a new crime drama, of course. Um. Uh, of course, a uh, hot tea there, of course, being there. Starving, and that is a page turner. A oh, big page turner. No, two only page cannot believe she has not put Becky Lynch away. Yes, yeah, she can't, but oh, she's looking for a bit of enhanced rampage here. Oh, look at this. Oh, she snorted her way oh. to victory here tonight. End of the cover, and Paige has dominated the new SmackDown Women's Champion. Yeah, you could say, yeah, definitely. Paige absolutely dominated that match up and well, utterly destroyed by Killage. Some of the same similar things with Shinsuke. Well, Champion's not looking good tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, Paige! Well, time to go backstage and get it on some lines. I've heard that she's uh, big friends with Mexicans. Yeah, uh, yeah, I heard that as well. Ladies and gentlemen, that our next pay-per-view is SummerSlam. June 18th, it's just under three weeks away, of course. All four brands will be represented. Raw, SmackDown, Nitro and High Impact. And you know that we, we we already know Shinsuke is going to take on Tristan Knight. We will find out in the coming weeks who will be going for the other titles. Stay tuned to NSW Programming. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got a great singles match coming up for you next. Introducing first from Ireland, he is Finn Bala. What a huge singles matchup this is to be, as you said, going to be great as well. We have got 
Finn Balor here, the leader of the World Balor Club. And what a match this is going to be, ladies and gentlemen. Finn Balor and Seth Rollins are going to go one on one. And you know that. Get a win here, and you're going to be in Daniel Bryan's mind to get that shot against Dean Ambrose at SummerSlam. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is going to be a great matchup here between Finn Balor and Seth Rollins. And yeah, we could be looking at even one of these two being the next number one contender. And there, Finn Balor. Definitely a big fan favorite here on NSW. And what do you make of Finn Balor, Tim? You know, as you said, yeah, big fan favorite. Very charismatic in that ring. You know, great technical master in there. Great high flyer as well. You know, it just takes quite a lot to defeat Finn Balor, but the exact same could be said about his opponent, Seth Rollins. Finn, definitely a, the big, one of the biggest fan favorites you would see here in NSW. The, the, the guys, the fans just love this guy. Yeah, they do absolutely tore Finn Balor. He has, you know, a huge following. And just watch this audience. Look at them all. Hands in the air. Playing to Finn Balor. You know what? Why not? This guy has got the world at his feet. But can he win against Seth Rollins here tonight? Yeah, can he do it? I mean, this is going to be a very fast paced matchup. A very technical as well. And he's also got a very long entrance. Yes, he does. So, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, he is the, the architect, Seth Rollins. Oh, no, yeah, I've just realized something. Seth. Oh, don't remind me, Dave. Oh, no. Oh, here is Seth Rollins. Oh, God. We know what's going to happen. Oh, no. <laughs> oh no, I knew it! What? Oh what? my god, he got a leg set up right. Has he got like a mic hooked up to him? Oh. Somehow, someone managed to like hide a, a mic in his beard. Oh, oh it's not that Jaden done again. Ah, oh, him and his huge teeth. Here it gets a lettuce stuck in it all the time. <laughs> oh, no, no! Oh, I thought we I thought he was gonna stop doing that after Sunday. Yeah, I mean he did do it once at Barney in the back. I guess he was so focused. <sighs> Who knows? Here we go, let's hope we can concentrate on the uh... <laughs> Oh my god, this is gonna be so annoying. Rooney Wayne gets us underway as Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins. As a big We've shot. We've got to go tell production to not put mics in people's beards. Well, look at this. Oh, face plants into the <laughs> Oh, no, my God. It's every time. Can we not turn him off? <laughs> I don't think we can. Oh, look I'm at not, this. I'm not running near him to find out if I can switch it off. Oh, Jesus! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! I can't put up with this. It's so annoying. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Come I on, this, please. I hope this isn't spoiling your enjoyment. Oh, the deal! The Falcon deal! The Falcon deal! Oh, goodness. <sighs> if you ever want to deal with Falcons... But just ask that guy. Oh, we've dealt with too many of our life. Uh -oh. Oh, sparkly witch! <laughs> oh my god, honestly. Will someone please stop him? Do it every time he hits. <sighs> someone gonna do it every time he hits some sort of big move. Oh no, see? You had on your mouth, didn't you, Tim? Oh! Oh no. Oh, Jesus! Hopefully he stops or someone switched off the. Maybe if you're <laughs> <laughs> this, this is not this is not even funny anymore. I'm really sorry, guys. 
I am so sorry. There's a, a big stump down by Finn Balor. Now, finally, maybe shutting, was, shutting him up, Tim. Yeah, it seems like it. Someone's asking what's more annoying, but I, have we ever had the fans say that? So, what's more annoying? Excuse me, what's more annoying? Seth's laughs or the party fans going, when the ref goes one, two, they go two. Sweet! I never heard that oh, ever. I don't know what this fan's talking I, I think he's talking about, of oh, course, I haven't the, either. the two sweet, of course, of Finn Balor. As, uh, look at this. Up on top. Oh, no. Superplex! Oh. Oh. Into... Oh, and he hangs on. The deal! <laughs> oh, my God. Is that enough to put away Finn Balor? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Is he seriously going to laugh at the ref's count? No, no, please don't. Short DDT. Oh, holy short DDT there. How are you meant to keep out of composure during this? Oh, look out, look out, look out, look out, look out. Superkick. Oh, no. Oh, he didn't do it. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, phew. Oh. Oh no, he's gonna do it here, isn't he? Oh, he's, look at this! He led the from, from his mentor, <laughs> Sonny! <laughs> and that has busted Finn Balor wide open! Did he really have to do it with each underhook and then hitting the move? I think so. Oh, look at that! Oh hand. no, he's going for a pin! <laughs> <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, finally puts an oh, end to that! God. As Seth Rollins picks up the win. I think I could bash my head against this damn commentary table. <laughs> oh man! Get him off my screen! <laughs> oh no! Honestly, no! No, Seth, leave! Please leave! Well, coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Money in the Bank, Bobby Hall, is going to be in action. He's going to team up with the SmackDown Champion, no less. Dean Ambrose against the Wyatt family. And you know Bobby Hall will be looking. Maybe could he cash in the night against this man? Who knows? But it's coming up next. It is Bobby Hall and Dean Ambrose versus the Wyatt family. Main event time on SmackDown Live. Ranked main event. And I think Dean Ambrose has that in the back of his mind. Will Bobby Hall cash in tonight? Could happen right here. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, they are the team of Bray Wyatt and Eric Rowan, the Wyatt family. Oh, the Wyatt family, it was... Give me chills to have my spot every time they come out because just look at the way these fans absolutely get behind these guys. Just the fireflies in golf in the arena. And now, do you think the Y family have a perfect opportunity to really pick up a big win here on the main event? Because Bobby Hall and Dean Ambrose, surely they can't be a team here tonight. Oh, they can't be. There's no way they're going to work together and coexist together. You know, I said about a lot of things, but Bray Wyatt and Front are a well-oiled machine that can get the job done, whilst Dean Ambrose and Bobby Hall, they are the complete opposite. I mean, you know, Bobby Hall be Mr. Money the Bank. He would want to attack Dean Ambrose any opportunity he got and cash in. Well, we'll have to find out if that is going to be the case here tonight. And, uh, well... These two men could play a big part in Bobby Hall becoming world champion on SmackDown. Yeah, they, they certainly could play an absolutely monumental part in that. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, it has not been a good night for the champions. Not one champion has won here tonight. Now we have... Well, Tristan right now, now boy content after beating Shinsuke Nakamura. We've got new tag team champions, and then Paige defeated Becky Lynch. Yeah, things are looking for good for Dean Ambrose. No, nope, not at all. Ladies and gentlemen, introduce him first. He is Mr. Money in the Bank, 
Bobby Hall. Oh. Yeah, there he is, Mr. Muddy and a Pag. One of the most dangerous men in NSW. He sure proved it at Money in Bag. But he became Mr. Money in the Bag. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, if you're wondering why the suitcase is not with Bobby Hall, new rules for season five. And that is, well, you don't need to, to take the briefcase anywhere. You can just tell the referee, and well, the match is on. Well, interested you rolling there. <laughs> Definitely makes it, you know, a bit more of a more difficult situation for, you know, the champion because, you know, they're not going to know if the person coming out is going to cash it or not. Bobby Hall is ready for action. The baseball bat, the signature baseball bat of Bobby Hall. Here. Apparently, somebody in the Twitch chat saying that he should use the bat to cash in. But I think it will be. Yeah, we can easily do that. It will be difficult against this man. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. He is the SmackDown World Champion, the Lunatic Fringe, Dean Ambrose. Yeah, I definitely have to get, it would be difficult against this man, but Bobby Hall, if he was to grab the bat to start waving on Dean Ambrose and then cash in, well, it'd be easy pickings. And just think, why doesn't he attack him now? Just saying. I well, would. you know, I think he wants, you know, maybe he maybe wants the wife family to do a lot of the work first, go weak in Dean Ambrose, and then attack him after this tag team match is done. Having a quick look at the uh, Twitch chat, how they've betted for the, this main event. 71.1 for Bobby Hall, Dean Ambrose, and 28.9 for the Wyatt family here. What a night we've had on SmackDown, ladies and gentlemen. Not a good night if you're a champion, of course. We've got new tag champs in the force uh, after losing the titles two nights ago they are now two-time tag team champions and if we now know that Tristan Knight will take on Shinsuke Nakamura at SummerSlam in just under three weeks for the Intercontinental title and well Paige defeating Becky Lynch here and ladies and gentlemen I have some breaking news out of the back in two weeks time in Ireland it will be the Smackdown Women's Championship on the line as Becky Lynch takes on Paige, what a match that should be. Oh, that'll be a great matchup, a rematch for the ages. Well, in Becky's homeland. Tag in to Dean Ambrose. So it looks like Bobby Hall and Dean Ambrose are going to work together as a team early on here. Of course, the European tour comes your way in. Two weeks time of course starting with Raw on Monday night and it all leads of course to that week um, and it of course leads to uh, SummerSlam. There's a nice shot by Ambrose takes Eric run down and then what would you if you were Dean Ambrose here uh, Tim would you try and get a sneaky victory and run for the hills or do, do you not think Dean Ambrose is like that? I don't think Dean Ambrose is like that. I mean, in his position, I'd do that. I'd try to just get a quick, sneaky, easy win. Or worse yet, just get myself to disqualified rough and hills. But we know what Dean Ambrose is like. He's mental. Well, well, that is actually very true, of course. Former member of the Shield. And, uh, now, look at this. Looking to uh, spin in DDT onto Eric Rowan. Of course, that great match on Sunday night when he defeated AJ Styles to become the champion and uh, you've got to be thinking that uh, I see Ambrose with the big target on his back and that's not clever at all I know he's a lunatic but come on yeah that was pretty stupid uh, that's a stupid idiot move if I've ever seen one look out as anyone even a lunatic champion can do a Russian leg sweep yeah, we're now into a cover. Maybe he's yet trying to get a quick sneaky victory, but no. Eric Rowan kicks out. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, we have also, if you didn't, if you haven't heard the news already, SummerSlam, who was originally meant to be in New York, New Jersey, has now been changed 
It will now be in London, England. Um, we, we of course, if you do have, if you've already bought tickets, of course, you can uh, exchange them for a ticket in London or get a full refund at nsw.com uh, forward slash give me my money. Yeah. Big DDT and plenty of lads are just let's hope it doesn't rain. No. I think it's indoors. I think we'll be alright. I think it's indoors. As a Oh Well yeah, that'd be fun, but I mean as it would it won't feel very well like if it's raining outside. Ah, right. It always rains in England. As uh Dean Arrows takes out Bray Wyatt here. Oh. But Eric Rune will take full advantage, sends Dean into the corner. And now, tree of rope. And what, what does it take? It could take the... Bobby Hull could just come in now, smash Dean Ambrose with the baseball bat. Get, obviously, yes, he'll lose the match by disqualification. Well, no, will they lose by disqualification? I guess technically not, because he's hit his own tag team partner. So you could do that, let the wife family get the pinfall, then come back in. And there's a two count on Dean Ambrose. Well, why and would he do that? In. Surely he would hit Dean Ambrose, then hit the Wyatt family, then pin him. Just, just a well, suggestion, of course. Yeah, but then what if the Wyatt family then screwed Bobby Hall? Well, that's the risk you've got to take. Don't get on their bad sides. Just take out Dean Ambrose, let them get the win, and then come back in. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we want you to join us at... Oh, my goodness! What a kick! By oh, Eric Rune. Could have just... Roundhouse kick. And now more headbutts to the lunatic fringe. Yeah, Dean Ambrose is in a world of trouble and he has been bloodied. And Eric Rune looking to, to maybe finish off the SmackDown champion right here. Look out! D double underhooks into the slam! And wow, no, this is huge. Cover. Is Bobby Hawk? Yeah, this is huge. Is Bobby Hawk going to come out and help? Yes, he yes, is. Yes, he is. Well, you may be right. Maybe he's thinking, yeah, hold on. Maybe you... More damage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I think he's, you know, more in that mind. So, well, I'll let T. Dabros get damaged deep for ball. Why now back in? Look at this. Ambrose up on top. Oh, this cannot be good. Now, this is looking very oh, bad. Oh, my uh -oh. goodness. Super follow-away slam. <laughs> Jesus. And Dean Ambrose on the complete other side. Of yes. The, yes, Wyatt. We, we know you. We Wyatt either with words. We know. Worlds, even. Oh, my He'll God. be eater of something else. Uh, like Smackdown. Like a nice bacon sandwich. Smackdown title, if you... If, if, if he's not, if uh, Dean Ambrose isn't careful here, shot yeah. down. Uh oh! And then just throws him across the ring, and Bobby Hall just stands there. And Bray Wyatt could just be seconds away here. Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh, the big boy! Oh, the big boy from Bray Wyatt and Dean Ambrose is be decimated here. But Bobby Hall breaks it up again. And this match will come. He just wants more damage. He, oh, I think no. he just wants more damage to be done. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, please. Uh, uh, Dina, yeah, Dina no, would no, look here. Right. My spine. Oh, the kiss. Sister Abigail. Oh, and oh, ladies and gentlemen, good. it has been a clean sweep against the champs tonight. Now, now, Bobby Hall, here's your chance. Bobby Hall, ladies and gentlemen, has just left. He, he's not taking advantage. Wow, that could have been his chance. Yeah, that could have been. I'm actually shocked. He's not taking advantage. He took like no damage in that match. You know? Why not? Yeah, you know, pick your spot now. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We are out of time. If you're a champ, you've not had a good night here on SmackDown Live. If you're Tim Price, though, you're going to say goodbye to them fans. Goodbye, fans. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for being a part of SmackDown Live. Remember, coming up next, it's NSC... 
Santitos or whatever it's called. We'll see you soon. Tomorrow night, in fact, for Nitro. See you then. Dave Easton, Tim Price. Bye-bye.